Welcome. In today's guide, I will walk you through on how to use Microsoft OneDrive. OneDrive is a cloud storage service developed by Microsoft, which you can use to store your files. Okay. And when you save files on OneDrive, automatically they are saved in Microsoft server. So anywhere you find yourself, you can always have access to the file. All you need just log in into your OneDrive account using your Microsoft account details and then you download the file into your phone and use it for whatever thing you want to use it for. So let's get started. All right, to use OneDrive, open your web browser. Here I have Microsoft Edge, okay, paid at the dash bar. So I'll click on it for it to open. Then we see the website OneDrive.com, okay. After typing the website OneDrive.com, just hit the enter key of your computer keyboard for it to open. As the OneDrive website opens, just as you can see right now, you will see an interface that looks like this, okay. If you don't have account with Microsoft, click the option create free account and then use your email address to create an account with microsoft okay you can use your gmail account you can use your outlook or any other email address you have with any other email service company okay if you have an account with microsoft all you need is just to click on sign in and then sign in with the account details all right that is the email address and the password and you are good to go once you sign in successfully, you will see an interface that looks like this. Here I have some files I have already accessed or uploaded on OneDrive. So that's why you have some here. But you will have a neat interface if you have not used this service before. Okay. Now let's talk about how to create a new folder. You can create folders in OneDrive for you to organize your other files inside the folders all right to create a new folder click on new select folder and again give the and then give the folder a name so here let me call this one education all right so i'll use it in organizing my education files after that click on create and now this file this folder is now created maybe you have some ebooks you read and you want to be saving them in onedrive you can create a folder for those ebooks okay instead of you losing them when they are saved locally on your pc you can click in on this new select folder and then call it ebooks all right so after that you click on create so with these folders you can then upload some files related to the name into them all right then let's say i want to upload a photo on one drive what you need to do is click on upload all right select files okay this opens the file explorer of your computer automatically let's say i want to upload this photo here i'll click on that and click on open and within few seconds this file will be uploaded on this one drive you can see uploaded it is not only pictures that you can upload through this means you can upload on your other file type maybe word document powerpoint excel and any other file type all you need just to click on upload and select files and then now we get to your pc where the file is let's say it's in the documents folder once you get to the file the folder where the file is just click on it and select open okay and then the file will be uploaded on one drive okay if maybe you want to upload a file to this folder we just created one of the folders we just created just take your cursor to the name of the folder just as you can see on the screen right now click on that for the folder to open first once the folder opens click on upload okay then select files then navigate to the folder in your pc where the file you want to upload on the folder is all right so select the file just have done now and click on open within a short time the file gets uploaded on your folder all right so let me get to the files again to the main home page now let's talk about uploading folders there may be some folders you have in your pc I want to upload the file with the files or contain inside of it at once. You don't need to start uploading the files one after the other. Since you have organized the 
files in a folder in your PC locally. All you need is just to upload the folder. And for you to do that, click on Upload. Select Folder. You can see Folder option here. Then, what is the folder that contains the files you want to upload on the platform? Okay, let's say I have a folder I named Access. Good. Let's say this is the folder I want to upload on OneDrive. I'll just click on the folder and then select Upload. Now, it says this will upload all files from Access. Do this only do this only if you trust the site i will say upload all right so within a short time you see this folder is imported into onedrive with all the files in it just as you can see this is the folder right now so if i click on it you will see all the files contained inside of me are now uploaded once and for all without any waste of time okay all right, let me talk about the major uh, tabs in OneDrive. By this your left, you can see the major tabs. You can see my files. You can see recents. You can see photos. You can see shared. You can see recycled bin. Okay. By default, once you open OneDrive, once you access OneDrive on the web, you are landed on the My Files tab. The My Files tab contains all the files that are uploaded on this OneDrive platform of your account. The recent shows the recent files you uploaded on the platform, okay? So when you click on it, you wait, you can see these are the recent files I uploaded on this platform and I accessed. Then the photos contains all the photos you have on the OneDrive cloud storage service. So if you want to see all the photos you upload on your platform, all you need is just to click on the photo star. Just as you can see, this is the most recent photo I uploaded here. You can see, look at how it is here. So if I click on it, it will open fully. So here you can see shared. This shows the files to shared with people from this OneDrive account. So from here you can share files with other people that use the same OneDrive service, okay? Then recycle bin shows all the files you recently deleted from your OneDrive. Here I have not deleted any files since we are doing this practical knowledge. But once I delete a file, it will be placed here for a period of 30 days. Which after that, if you don't restore the file, it will be deleted permanently from OneDrive. By the top right, you can see the option named uh, sort. You can use this sort to sort the files you have on OneDrive. For example, if I want to sort different, differently, I'll click on sort. I can sort by name, which is selected by default. That is why the names are arranged alphabetically here. You get the point? Then if you want to sort by the file, last modify, follow by this, okay? Want to sort by file size, go with this. If you want to sort by ascending, which is selected, go with the option. If you want to sort by descending, just go with the option. But here, I'm okay with the default with the way it is sorted by default okay all right let's say you want to delete a folder from one drive it's simple all you need just to take your cursor to this part okay let's say i want to delete this access i just uploaded so I'll click on that for it to be selected once it is selected you can see some options here if you want to share the file you click on share but say i want to delete it for me to delete it i will just click on delete and ask me, are you sure you want to send this item to the recycle bin? I always say yes, delete, all right? So once this file is deleted, it is moved to the recycle bin, as I said, for a period of 30 days, okay? So let's get to the recycle bin to see if it's there. You can see the access folder we just deleted is inside this recycle bin. So I can decide to restore it. For me to restore it, just take your cursor to this spot, click, and then once you click, it will be selected. Then look at this part, you can see restore. But if you want to do away with this file permanently, you don't want to occupy any space on this OneDrive, go with the option delete. But I want to restore it because it's still important to me. So I'll click on restore. And when we get back to the My Files tab, you can see the file there again. Okay, it has not been moved, but it will appear here. So let's refresh. 
you can see it's here so that is that you can share files to people from this one drive okay so let's take for example i want to share this file named do not disturb doc okay for me to do that i'll click on it click on that spot don't click on the file itself because once you click on the file itself it will open just click on the checkbox all right just i have done now it is now selected okay now you can see some options here here we want to share it with someone so select the option share next page the dialog box that shows up it says type the name group okay it says type name group or email address of the person you want to share this file to okay so take for example i have a friend name whose email address is customer base 2019 at gmail.com so i will type the email address here okay then i'll select it now if i want to add more than one email address all right still add the same in the below after that keep on adding but say i just want to send to this a friend of mine whose email is this okay now in the option you can set what the recipient can do once you receive this file by default it says anyone with the link can edit meaning that once the person gets the file into his email address into his email browse he can edit the file but if you just want him to just view the file just make the change here okay you can click on this spot and then select the option for him not to edit it okay so come to this section click and select can view okay so what it means is that he can just view this document but he cannot make changes to it but i said my good friend i want you to have the opportunity to still edit the file so i click apply and then click send this my good friend will get this file into his email inbox okay all he needs to do is just to open it for and then use it for anything he wants to use it for it's as simple as that okay let's talk about another thing once a file is selected you can see some buttons are here are just displayed here you can see share which i have explained you can see delete if you want to delete a file delete it if you want to move this file to a folder i have some folders i've already created here so i want to move if i want to move it to in another folder i'll click on move to okay so the next page that will show up we bring up some folders that are here so you can see some folders i've already created i have access i have documentary documenty and ebook so let's say i want to move it to the access so i'll click on access okay as i click on access the access is opened then i'll click on move here and this file will be moved to access as you can see it has been removed from the home page of onedrive okay let's discuss some other things you can do once a file is selected as usual click on the selection browse okay and the file is selected you can decide to copy this particular file i have selected to another place okay so once you select copy to you can then copy this into another folder then maybe in future you find yourself in a place whereby you need a file you initially uploaded on this one drive and you want to download it once you log into the account, just I have done, click on the file and then select download. The file will be downloaded locally into your PC or your smartphone, depending on the device type you are using to access OneDrive at that point in time. If you want to rename a document or a file or an image you already have on OneDrive, you can do that. As the file is selected, first of all, just as you can see right now, once it is selected, click on the option rename, okay? So once is uh, you do that, just give it the name of your choice. After that, just hit the rename button, okay? And that's done, okay? You can see it's now named document rail, okay? From this one drive, you can still create some office files directly from here, okay? Let me show you what I mean. Click on new. Now, once you click on it, you can see what document you can see a cell workbook, you can see PowerPoint presentation, OneNote, form survey, plain text. So, if take for example, you want to create Word document on this OneDrive, select the Word document option. This will open on the web, then compose your document. And once you're done composing your documents, close the interface. Okay. Then this document is automatically saved on this OneDrive. There is a special folder 
that is created on OneDrive by default. It is called Personal Vault. You can see it here. What this folder is meant for is for special documents, in quotes. Take, for example, your international passport, driver's license, birth certificate. These are confidential documents. I want to save them in a folder whereby somebody cannot access it easily. Okay? So, personal vault is created with extra layer of security. So, for you to access it, just take your cursor to it, just as you can see on the screen right now, and click. Now, it will tell you that it wants to send OTP to the email address that is linked to this account or your alternative email address, which is the field when you are creating your Microsoft account. All right. So select the option for it to click on the email for them to send authentication code to it. On this new page, type the email address in full. After that, click on the option send code. This code will be sent to the email address, so enter it in this space provided. Here I have already received it in the email, so I will type the code. After that, hit the verify button. You can see the personal vote requires extra level of security. So as I have verified that it's me, I'll tap on it again for it to open. All right. So once you open the personal vault, just as you can see on the interface, you can then upload your special file in quote into it, okay? So I'll tap on upload, select files. So let's say I have a document that is very important to me, okay? Maybe a contract. I will just click on the file and select open. So this file now, which is so important to me, very confidential is now uploaded into this folder all right into the personal vault all right so you don't just upload any type of file in these personal vaults some confidential files some confidential documents okay because it requires extra level of security all right storage is here so by default you are assigned some storage spaces when you are not subscribed to microsoft 365 but i am an active subscriber and that is why i'm assigned one terabyte so it's telling me here that i have used less than one gigabyte of storage okay so if i click on it it will open fully you can see the free space you are assigned if you are not subscribed to Microsoft 365 and it's not active is 5 GB, all right? But if you are a subscriber, you are being allocated more storage space. That is one terabyte. That is a whole lot. And once you keep on subscribing every month or maybe every year, depending on the Microsoft 365 subscription you are running, that one terabyte of storage space is maintained all right but once your subscription expires and you do not want to continue you are returned back to the free five gigabytes if maybe when using this program and you want to know more about it or you want to make some query just simply come to this spot and click on help all right so then you can type what you want to get information on and hit the enter key of your computer keyboard some results will be returned which hopefully will solve the problem you want to get solution on okay this is just a quick tutorial on how to use microsoft onedrive i hope you find it helpful use onedrive to have your files and folders you have locally on your computer on microsoft server i've been using it for over seven years and it has been useful to me. So you can still do the same. Thank you for following up, okay? Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you feel about this tutorial. If you have a question on OneDrive, still ask me, and I will do well to respond in just a few minutes, okay? Subscribe to my channel if you have not done that. Subscribe if you have not done that. If I subscribe because it will help me to grow this channel. I'll see you next time.